What's going on? Welcome back to Joe's RC Garage. This is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing as we do everything RC related on this channel. Last week on the workbench, we did the unboxing and first run of the Losi LMT. This week, I'm going to go ahead and cut, paint, and customize the body so we can add it to the LMT. This truck was a ton of fun. If you're looking for some scale, solid axle, monster truck, bashing, this is where it's at guys. Definitely pick it up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the necessary steps and prep work to get a body mounted to this roll cage for the LMT. After that, we're gonna give it a proper monster truck bashing. So let's get to it. Yes, sir. Just in time for the build. Let's open this sucker up. This will be part two of the video where we're gonna paint the body for the LMT. LMT body. This is 1989 Ford F250. So I can't wait to paint this up and throw it on the LMT. Black sand scissors, I bought this in a set, came with a straight cut and came with the angle cut. You really want to use the angle cut for the for the wheel wells and stuff like that. It gives it a nice, uh, easier cut to do on the wheel well and stuff like that. All right guys, the body's been cut. So I'm determined to really keep this cage really like the system where it just folds back it does include all the hardware necessary to basically mount this body to the cage I am gonna need to remove this because this is not gonna work and basically I'm gonna have to take the exacto knife and perform a little surgery there to get this body to mount up perfectly so we're gonna do our best customization on it So if we were using the stock uh, Grave Digger or Son of a Digger body, we would actually use this, but since we're not, we have to remove it to allow the body to actually sit lower on the roll cage. So let me go ahead and let's get to the surgery. So body's trimmed up, ready to go. Since I was determined to keep the cage, I mean, you could go with the, the body post that it, the LMT does come with, but since I didn't want to do that, all I had to do is basically do a little custom cut here so the body sits on the roll cage and it does provide for you these little, I believe they're called these little grommets. They go with these little screws, it comes with the hardware necessary and I'm going to go ahead and mount it to the body. So pro tip, uh, before you paint the body, uh, once you're done trimming it, I strongly advise to get a very fine grade sandpaper and you just kind of want to go over it because as you when you're cutting it, it you know it's never going to be so perfect or but you can smooth out some of the edges and stuff like that and some of the cuts with a nice fine grade sandpaper so before we get to painting this body we need, gonna, we need to go ahead and line up all the holes with the body so it can fit on the roll cage. Everything's mounted to the body. A couple of things that went wrong for me. Um, in the front, looks like my I didn't mark it correctly. It looks like the body might have shifted. So I might have to do some little modification in the front. But another problem that I'm also having is that I don't get full tilt. Uh, it looks like the, my back bumper is hitting the wheelie bar. But I have enough space to get in there and work, but I might have to cut a little bit of the bumper, so we'll see how it goes in the future. Super excited how this is coming out. Let's, let's keep it going.
So as you just saw, I came back from the hobby shop, picked up the paint for the LMT. I'm gonna do some nice metallic blue from Tamiya. This is the PS16. Uh, and I'll probably back it with either silver or black. Basically just some dishwasher soap is good guys along with a sponge of sorts or a microfiber cloth either or you'll be fine you just want to wash it from any fingerprints or any grease so the paint uh, sticks into a clean body So you just want to hit it with a nice light coat to start off. Let that drag, come back, hit it with a second coat. We'll let that dry and hit it with a third coat. When you finally applied all the coats, let it dry really good and then we're gonna probably back it this is a very light uh, paint it's very transparent on the black sand so what we'll do is we're probably since I want a darker tone I'm gonna hit it up with a uh, with a black finish backing it with a black now all this let to do is peel off that protective film cover throw on the decals and mount it to the roll cage Now once you remove that protective film, that color really starts to pop on it. This is a beautiful metallic blue. Alright guys, all the decals are on. Body's mounted up. I absolutely love the way this truck turned out. The GoPro really doesn't do it justice, but this truck is looking phenomenal. The only downside, well actually two downsides, is that I don't get the full tilt. Right there the bumper hits, so I don't want to cut the bumper, but I might have to, but we'll see. But I mean I definitely get enough clearance to put it, you know, to work on and put some batteries and stuff. Another downside to doing it this way as well is that uh, when you do keep the cage, the body does tend to sit a little higher. Um, so if you like your body a little lower, you might have to remove that cage, but I wanted to keep it as scale as possible So I could have the driver and flip it up whenever I want before we give this thing a proper monster truck bashing You know how we do on this channel. We're gonna speed run this thing. I need to find out how fast this thing is I know it's a monster truck guys. We're not gonna hit 50 60 miles an hour, but Nonetheless, I need to know how fast it is on 2s and 3s. So we're gonna run it on the SMC 5200 milliamp this is I believe 135 C pack and we're gonna run it on the spectrum 5000 milliamp 50 C for 3s we're gonna get the speeds on it and see how fast this beast is all right let's see how fast this thing is on 2s All right, three is run. Nice. Let's go one more time. See if I can get more out of it. All 
I wasn't expecting it to hit 37. That's pretty good for a monster truck. Unfortunately, the run got cut short because the shock shaft pulled out of that little retainer um, I, and I lost a little shock plastic cup, but other than that, it didn't, it didn't break, just, just lost a piece. But we'll be back for uh, part three of the series and we'll give it a longer bash as the truck continues to be a ton of fun guys and uh, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.